Today, I hosted the Grand Finals of my $1,000 Trio Cup tournament. But before we get into the video, if we get 30,000 likes on this upload, I'm going to host another $1,000 tournament this week, only if you guys want to see it. So let's blow this video up. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button below the video and subscribe to the channel as well. We are almost at 5 million subscribers. This video is going to be extra long, so make sure you sit back, relax, grab a snack, and enjoy. It's going to be so much fun. The games are insanely stacked. You're going to see familiar pro players like Clicks, Booga, Day, Scented, and much much more and remember if you guys want to play in tournaments just like this all you got to do is just join my discord server down below in the description i post announcements for upcoming events just like this in there so make sure you join the discord server the scoring for the finals is pretty simple you have to play five out of five games and every single game counts towards your total points the site that i host this on tracks all your points so it's one point per elimination 96 points for victor royale and so on so i hope you guys enjoy let's try to break 20,000 likes i know you guys can make it happen i'll host another tournament like this this week and let me know what tournament you want to see next Solos, duos, trios, or squads. Comment down below. And without further ado, let's begin. All right, guys, here we go. We got the start of the grand finals for my $1,000 trios Fortnite tournament. We got a lot of perspectives on the screen already. We got Clicks, we got Jock, we got Emzo, we got Miro, Trashy, Day, Zaxi, Valorator, and Kotal, and many more perspectives to come as well. It seems like we already got some intense off spawn fights. Let's go swap over to Clicks and see how his team is doing. All right, we always start off with the big Clicks. He's doing pretty good so far. It looks like they're going to land Dirty Docs. And keep in mind, guys, Clicks literally rolled out of bed three minutes before this tournament started. And my man is ready to play in a trio's cup. All right, that is the kind of dedication we love to see with these formula tournaments. And once again, if you guys have been enjoying these, please drop a like on the video. If these keep doing amazing, I'm going to keep hosting them for you guys. I love giving out prizes away to you guys. And I also just love bringing the Fortnite community together. That's what this is all about, man. Oh, wait a minute. It looks like we have an early game fight from Acorn and Jock's team right here. Let's see what this trio is going to do, bro. These guys won one of the previous FNCS tournaments i believe in season six so let's see how they pull through here all right it looks like they're gonna go slurpy swamp a lot of slurp fish a lot of loot here really good place to get full shield at and uh it seems like a team is like you know what we kind of want to share some of that loot with you guys but acorn and jocks team is like nope we're not having that so we got a little off spawn fight here early on in the game this is gonna slow down a lot of teams early on because you're gonna burn a lot of your mats early in the game you're gonna use a lot of your ammo fighting other squads hopefully they can pull through here with a clutch though oh no jack jack is fully boxed up he's trying to avoid it but no no, Jock goes down. Oh, no. This trio might be griefed here. It's now a 2v3, I believe. It's between Acorn and Slacks. If they can win this fight, they can easily grab Jock's reboot card and pick him back up and get back into the game. Now, keep in mind, guys, you have to play a total of five out of five games. The most points at the end is obviously going to be the winner. Every single game counts. So just scored. What was that nasty pump by Acorn? Did he get the knock right there? I don't think he even did. All right. It looks like we got another early game fight with Velorator. Okay. We've seen a lot of this kid play in the semifinals, This team did absolutely phenomenal. Let's see how they put up against in the grand finals though. The player base is going to be completely different in the grand finals compared to the semis. We got a lot of tier one pros playing in this. I believe we have 50 reserve spots for them. So it's going to be a lot sweatier today. I'm excited to see what the final result's going to be. I honestly don't know which trio is going to win this, to be honest. It's super unpredictable. It looks like a lot of trios are getting griefed early on in the game, bro. Everyone's fighting a 2v3 right off a of spawn, man. All right. It looks like Clicks is now in a fight bro we why are we seeing so many early game fights i guess because this tournament is so heavy on placement a lot of teams are taking early game fights because they definitely need that storm surge so that's what we see day's team doing right here it seems like click this team just got some good surge so now they're gonna back off of this trio oh and keep in mind guys every single player you see on the screen everyone's in the same exact game there's five total games and it looks like we already got our first storm surge 80 people still alive bro that is actually crazy zaxi's team right here with qt claps they are 111 points below the surge now they're 154 points below i think there has to be at least 79 for a live to for this surge to go away so let's see how this team pulls through here bro they're gonna have to clutch up a little bit that's why some of these early game fights are definitely gonna be worth it so you don't have to panic mid game oh wait a minute it looks like zaxi's team is already getting hit by storm surge oh no bro they can't go out like this this is the second storm surge wave bro there has to be 70 alive in order for this thing to go away six people have to die in order for the surge to go bro this is insane this is what happens when the tournaments are heavy on placement but now they're above it looks like claps just got a little clutch played right there so they should be good to go looks like they're applying pressure on a full squad right now 
Oh my goodness, they are triple spraying a team right now. They need to get these eliminations. This would be a big refresh early on in the game. And they'll have surge for the rest of the lobby. All right, looks like Colazzo's team now is also in a mid-game fight right here. Everyone is trying to get that storm surge. Nobody wants to be able to panic mid-game, bro. These guys are doing a really good job right now. They literally got an entire fortress set up here. It's Tragic's Trashy and Colazzo. Colazzo, known to be one of the best controller players in the game right now, doing such a good job of just staying put. They got so much loot for medkits and heals and mats i think they're good to go for end game honestly they already have two kills on the board i think they're set all right it sounds like acorn jock and slacks are looking at another trio skydiving in the air right now they're trying to get some storm surge tags but jock not going to be able to land any shots right there it's all good though they got the reboot though which is actually really nice the full trio has been reunited numbers are your biggest advantage in trios if every single person on your team is alive you're good to go for end game and there's also some other notable players i want to mention we got avery nosh we got scented edgy so many insane pros that have a really good reputation playing in this cup i'm honestly super excited man i love hosting these if you guys are enjoying these once again just drop a like on the video it helps a lot we're about to go to end game wait a minute i think slacks just got headshot sniped oh no this trio is getting really unlucky right here but luckily they're going to be able to get the res all right let's go back to clicks and day and miro and see how they're doing right here okay they're 61 alive they're barely above the surge oh they gotta go across the map but luckily they do have a launch pad they're gonna be able to get in this nice and safely here as long as they don't get sniped out of midair all right here we go clicks team is gonna launch pad into the next circle right here they are going to go across every single person right here oh they found a really good spot on a hilltop it looks like but they're not gonna take it they're gonna box up next to some more brick they're gonna be able to refarm their mats Oh, clicks with the headshot snipe. Oh my goodness. What was that? Bro, that reaction time. My guy literally woke up five minutes before this tournament and just, just, just destroyed everybody already. What? This trio just wiped out another trio. They're going to pick up a fat refresh on Matt and loot. All right, Storm Surge has been warmed yet again. Bro, we've had Surge like every single zone. That just goes to show how stacked these lobbies can be sometimes, man. All right, clicks now going to rotate onto another trio. Okay, okay. They're going to box up right next to them. Trying to get a sneaky peek on another squad. They all got chili peppers popped as well, but they got dropped down by another trio. Oh no, they're phasing through the ramp. That is an unfortunate glitch you do not want to get stuck on. Here we go. The boys are trying to drop down another trio. They're putting pressure on another squad. Wait a minute, but Day gets eliminated. Clicks is now going to back off of this trio. Oh no, they got a little bit greedy for the kills right there, but Clicks still not stopping for anybody. He is just going to W key people's boxes. Now one man standing. Can Clicks clutch this up, bro? I don't know if he's got it, man. Let's see if he can do it right here. He's going to have to play this all alone right now. Oh my gosh, Clicks now with four kills. Clicks known to be one of the best box fighters in Fortnite, doing just the absolute most in these tight zones, bro. You love to see it, man. 28 players still alive. Clicks is trying to score in as much placement points as he can for his squad. Remember, guys, elimination does not really count too much towards your total score. It's all about how far you can get into the game. Oh no, Clicks now with only 40 HP. This is not looking too good for him. It only takes two bullets for him to get kicked out of the game right here we literally have over 20 people in moving zones bro this is just disgusting i don't know what's going on here man this trio's tourney is just way too stacked dog Woo! oh my goodness clicks tries to take a shot right there he's not gonna be able to do it. he's gonna get eliminated to storm it looks like we still got acorn trying to clutch up over here acorn now with four kills is he gonna be able to do something here let's see it Oh no, he's going to get eliminated to the storm as well, bro. That is just what happens when you have too many people stuck inside and moving zones. All right, now we're going to swap over to Emzo's team. I believe these guys actually won the game. So let's see what they did here. It looks like they're going to play ultimate high ground right here. Just holding that tarp. You guys got to remember the zones were insanely congested. We had over 25 people in closed moving zones. So height is definitely going to be the big advantage right here. Nobody is going to contest anybody on height, bro. Especially in this situation here. Let's see what they did to win this game oh my goodness bro Iamzo just laying down those headshots let's see what he's gonna do here oh no Iamzo gets caught off by a Travis Scott in the storm you hate to see it man but let's see if his teammates clutch up here all right now we got Chucky doing such a good job of getting those eliminations getting that 50 HP back from every single kill oh my goodness bro there's so much action going on at height surprisingly only five players remaining Chucky now under pressure by the same Travis Scott that killed the Emzo, and he's gonna get eliminated. Chucky using that slurp bazooka just to regain as much HP as possible. Every single tick matters, and they're gonna look down and spray and win the game, bro. 
Let's go. What an insane first game. All right, guys, here we go. The start of game number two. Let's take a quick look at the leaderboard, however, and see how everyone's doing. So right now, this is currently the top 10. We got Emzo after that insane win with Chucky and Nut in first place with 105 points. And then we got Booga and Avery and Nosh in second place. And then in third, we got Okus, Avivik, and Magnolia. Everybody is doing super well right now. Love to see these stacked tournaments, guys. And we got Clicks in eighth. We got Acorn in sixth. And Stretch and Kanata in ninth. This leaderboard is actually looking pretty crazy. I don't know, man. Anything can still change. Remember, guys, it's very heavy on placement. Once again, here's the full scoring guide. One point per Elim, 96 for a victory royale, and so on. So let's just get right back to the game and see how everyone's doing. All right, it looks like we're going to swap over to Colazzo. Now, it looks like they're contested at Corny Complex over here. Doesn't seem like they like that, but they know that if they contest them and fight them off... Wait, they already have two kills. Bro, this team, bro, they always win their fights off a of spawn here. Oh, they got somebody boxed up. Colazzo now going in for the kill early on in the game, trying to get that early storm surge. You love to see it, man. I think it's a 3v1 right here. Yep, there it is. They're going to go up and fight him. Oh, no. Colazzo's team now also getting third party by another squad. Colazzo trying to go up, gets the pump, tries to finish him for the kill. Oh, my goodness. Colazzo, come on, bro. You got to finish off this kill right here. He has him super weak. All he has to do is just go up a little bit. There we go. He lands the pump. He's going to shake him down, reveal his teammate's location. It looks like this was a different trio than the one they fought off a of spawn. It's now a 2v1. I think Tragics just went down. Colazzo sees the last person. He shook his enemy down. Him and Tra Oh no, Trashy just went down. Colazzo though clutches up with a nice little cleanup sweep. You love to see that. This trio has six kills off a of spawn, bro. And they're about to get the full reboot. Let's go. Oh my goodness. There's so much gold loot and weapons on the ground. Hopefully these guys get the reboot here. Oh no, dude. Is that another trio contesting them? Oh no, dude. These guys are in big trouble here. They got to be able to clutch this up though. If they get this reboot, they're going to get so many points in the end. I feel it. Oh no. Colazzo trying to get his teammates reboot card. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, they got the wall, dude. Oh, this is such a bad fight. This is such a bad fight. Bro, there is no way these guys survived that, bro. They have six kills. They were getting pushed by another team, which, the, by the way, they accused of stream sniping. And they're still alive. All they got to do right now is just get the reboot on Tragics. And I think they're good to go, bro. Colazzo seems like he's super confident in this. He's not going to let any other team stop him. I hope to see these guys do really well in the tournament, honestly. All right, now we got Click, Stay, and Mira rotating in the car, bro. This is such a risky thing to do sometimes, man. You can literally just get headshot sniped out of the car, but looks like they're just getting their surge while they're driving, bro. And that That's one way to get Storm Surge in style, man. I gotta respect that. Ah, here we go. We got Acorn, Jack, and Slacks opening up the crystal chest. Let's see if they're gonna get blue bolts. That's what I'm calling, bro, because that's the only thing I ever get out of this. AKs or bolts. Hopefully, they get some purple loot. Let's see. Yep, and there it is. Blue AKs. Just as I predicted, man. They really got to buff those crystal chests. I feel like the loot in those things is not good enough. Oh, yikes. This is looking a little bit scary. Colazzo's team has to rotate in the zone. They are getting tagged by another team in front of them. Oh, they just made it in. Okay, bro. These guys have been in shambles this entire game. They're about to make the biggest comeback of 2021 in this trio tournament, though. All right, let's see what Clix's team is doing right now. Looks like they're just lobby focusing another team right now across the map. Trying to get some Storm Surge tags. It doesn't look like they have any kills right now. But they do want to try to get one at least for Storm Surge. And Miro got the kill. Okay, nice. Ooh, it looks like they see another team launch padding in the sky right now. They're trying to get some tags. The entire lobby is so laggy, dude. There's 66 players still in this game, bro. And there's a Surge warning. This is just a disaster, bro. I love it, though. This is just amazing content. I hope you guys are honestly enjoying this, man. I want to host more of these every single week for you guys, bro. Oh, this is just crazy. Oh, wait a minute. Clicks is on a really weird layer here. We got a lazy lake zone. Oh my goodness. There's another trio looking at Clicks' forehead right there. Luckily, they missed their pump right there. All right, let's swap over to Okus's team now. Now, these guys have been doing pretty good. They're in the top 10 right now on the leaderboard. And it looks like they're playing on edge of zone right here. They're 140 above surge. They don't have any kills on the board. However, they do have a lot of tags. They got a pretty solid loadout. It seems like every team is stacked on shield right here. Now, they got the first half and half. So that's going to be big. Especially if you don't have a launch pad, getting that first half and half circle is going to be huge. It looks like every single team has at least two snipers because those snipes are going to be essential for getting those tags early on in the game especially when people are in their box opening windows that's going to give a lot of teams opportunities to land those snipe shots for surge they do see a team on ultimate low ground right next to them they're not going to take any shots at them every team is so aware of their surroundings right here bro nobody wants to get eliminated there's going to be a lot of late patterns it looks like this is going to give them a perfect opportunity to spray into the zone 
Oh my, yo, okay, okay. Ocus with that nasty laser beam with that AR spray. Gonna get a nice elimination for the group here. It looks like they're gonna try to take ultimate height as well. All right, we're gonna go back to Clix's team. It looks like they got another elimination on the board and they got a launch pad ready to go for this next circle. This is definitely gonna be the best place to place the pad because as you guys can see, the zone is inside of Lazy Lake. There's already gonna be some pre-built walls in the way. So launch padding over everything is definitely gonna be the optimal move here. They're gonna go off to the left and they're gonna go up for a height wait a minute no it doesn't look like it there is a team contesting for height they're gonna play mid ground however okay this is very risky oh wait clicks just lands in someone's box gets the elimination gets the one pump on another person bro clicks is on fire today oh my goodness oh no looks like clicks team is getting sprayed out from below this is one of the dangers of playing mid ground because there's always going to be a team on height no matter what and there's always going to be a team under you so you got to make sure you're watching your ceiling and your floor at all times so you don't get dropped down or you don't get sprayed up from okay so let's see what's gonna happen here bro clicks with another 140 pump dog how is he landing all these headshot pumps i don't understand it this is what happens when you just train box fights 24 7 you're gonna be this good of a player all right now we are gonna switch back to okus's team who is playing ultimate high ground right here they have the perfect angles on the entire lobby they've been able to conserve their mats this entire time too i'm not really sure how they've been able to do that 21 players still alive bro can they clutch this up man i don't know i don't know they do have height that's all they need to win this and trio's height is gonna be key oh no it sounds like somebody's content testing them for ultimate height right now all right now we're gonna switch back to click stay and miro it seems like it's gonna be between these two teams i don't really know what's gonna happen here to be honest it's either ultimate height or ultimate logo is gonna win this clicks oh no dude oh no that just happened so fast i'm gonna be honest i don't know how that just happened but we're gonna switch over to emzo's team who still seems to be alive here these guys won the first game they got the victory royale if they get a back-to-back -back here that is gonna put them so far ahead on the leaderboard that they might win this entire tournament i don't really know here so they're gonna go up for height emzo contesting height these guys keep in mind they also dropped a 46 kill win in the qualifying round and Emzo is going to get caught up in somebody else's box and get eliminated. It's crazy how fast the trios will die out here. All right, let's see how this game ends, man. We got Oka's team still on ultimate height, doing such a good job of not letting go of that control. Only 100 metal mats. They got two slurp cannons, it looks like. They're just going to try to play heal off here. The fact that this is even going off to a heal off is just, just insane. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. There's somebody trying to contest them on for height. They just dropped them a free slurp cannon, though. Okay. It seems like there's a slurp cannon and chili peppers up there. And they get the victory royale by the heal off. GG's. High wins. All right, guys. Game number three out of five is on the way. Let's take a quick look at the leaderboard and see who is in first place. So we still got Chucky and Iemzo in first place with 187 points. They are very close to second, however, with Okus's team with 183. And then we got Booga still holding that third place spot with Nash and Avery and with 174 points. And Colazzo. Now, man, these, this team right here, fourth place, these guys have been through a lot last game. And, you know, rightfully so, they are in fourth place hopefully we see them climb up a little bit later then we got other teams like cease in fifth clicks in sixth acorn in seventh and so on so yeah i'm really excited to see what's going to happen next game if you guys are enjoying the tourney so far drop a like on the video and subscribe anyways let's get right into it oh wait a minute it looks like we already got an early game fight from trashy oh no dude is this colazzo's team i think it is oh no they're in big trouble trashy with only three hp is gonna go down bro colazzo is gonna have to clutch up here yet again bro Corny Complex just seems to be heavily contested every single game. It's a 1v3. He is going to get eliminated right here, unfortunately. You really hate to see it, man. Corny Complex is just way too heavy, man. Oh, no. It looks like Iemzo's team also got eliminated. These guys were in first place. That is going to hurt really badly. We are definitely going to expect to see a lot of leaderboard changes right after this game. But now we're going to switch over to Acorn, Jack, and Slacks, who seem to be contested every single game they played so far. But I think they got Slurpy Swamp off to themselves this time. It seems like every other team backed off of them. Nobody wants to mess with them. So hopefully these guys are going to be able to get a lot of loot here uncontested. Ah, yes, here we go. Another crystal chest. Let's see if Clicks and Day actually get something out of this. Not even a single gun. Yep, those crystal chests are absolute garbage. It seems like Acorn, Jack, and Slacks are trying to fight this team off a of spawn here. This could be a potential opportunity to get a lot of Storm Surge points. They are going to be wasting a lot of time in the process, however. Let's see if this pays off. Oh, behind. Oh, my goodness. Jack with a nice pump and Acorn is going to clean up that kill with Slacks. It's now a 2v3. All they got to do here is just W key, honestly. 
Oh, wait a minute. In the cone, and they found him hiding, and they got the elimination. Now they got three kills, full surge, full shield, full mats. They're set for the rest of the game. Nothing could possibly go wrong for this trio here. Acorn's trio found another crystal chest. Let's see if this thing is going to be worth it, bro. It's going to be nothing good. Oh, wow, a gold sniper. That's probably the first time I've ever seen it. that thing ever drop anything decent. I'm honestly a little bit surprised there. Maybe they are decent chests. I don't know. I've never gotten anything good out of it. Now we're going to switch over to Day Clicks and Miro. Let's see what's going on over here. All right. They're boxed up on the bridge. What? Di what? Di did did I see that correctly? Did my man Day just laser somebody through the bush? How did he do that? And what is this build they got here? They literally took full control of this bridge with metal ramps. I kind of like this setup, to be honest. This is really nice. They're going to be able to refarm all their metal here, too. This is actually a really good spot to stay. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Day sees a full trio rotating. He's going to edit that ramp and absolutely fry them. That was actually a really nasty peek. I love this bridge setup, bro. I don't know who invented this. Maybe Maybe these guys did it first. I don't know. But this is actually such a nasty base. Yeah, can we just go back to people making bases like in season one Fortnite? I honestly miss it so much. This is like the most perfect base I've ever seen. All right, now we're going to go back to Acorn and Jack and Slacks. Let's see what they're doing here on rotation. They're going to try to walk their way into this next zone. We're almost at half and half with 70 alive. It seems like more and more teams are picking up on the fact that they have to take on early game fights in order to avoid Storm Surge. So that's why there's only 60 to 8 people alive right now. But that's still going to be a lot especially going into first half and half there's going to be another storm surge it's going to be insanely sweaty and honestly i don't know who's going to win this end game all i feel like honestly my prediction for this game i think this trio right here with acorn is going to win this game they seem to be doing really good off of spawn they're 700 above surge already i think they got this one in the bag i could be wrong though i don't know oh they see a team behind them in the storm they're trying to hold them off possibly with a nice little triple spray there we go they see him they're trying to get him and jack with the laser beam with the blue famas okay that is what we like to see man oh no however though the zone is going to pull across the universe here jack tries to go for a nice headshot snipe but he misses that was the perfect opportunity i think the sniper blanked there or something hopefully this trio has a launch pad otherwise they're gonna have a really difficult time getting into this next circle they're gonna triple spray into the brick wall not gonna be able to get a kill however only 10 seconds remaining before they have to rotate hopefully wait they did, did they actually get a kill there okay maybe they did get a kill i completely missed it i think one of them does have a launch pad for rotation the lobby is starting to lag a lot oh whoa, what was that kill bro that kid tried to take the launch pad but jack said nope this is for my trio instantly just popped somebody bro holy moly all right now the boys are boxed up they're doing really good in first half and half they got a free kill on another trio there's another trio in front of them are they gonna get greedy for the kill here though oh no acorn is getting a little too greedy slacks is really low on hp acorn gets eliminated oh my goodness i don't know if that was the right play there i don't know if they should have done that they already had so many kills but they got greedy all right now we are going to switch over to clicks day and mirror who still are all three alive doing super well right now clicks is holding that tarp is my man off a of chili pepper right now hold on a minute my man is moving super fast with those mechanical tarps they got a full metal hallway set up here for perfect rotation 39 players still alive storm surge warning is activated on the screen it seems like the entire lobby is under them day has somebody full box right in front of them trying to apply some pressure here surge has been activated a lot of players are going to get zapped right here six players still have to be eliminated in order for surge to go away can they pull through here let's see what's going to happen 35 alive they're first into the next circle clicks is going to drop down a couple layers here they're playing middle clicks is now looking back spraying what looks like to be jack and slacks clicks now with full 500 metal he is going to be able to build a nice tarp for his trio. He's looking down under. Hit somebody for 68. Oh, I think they just killed Slacks or Jack. Oh, no. All right, now 28 players alive. They're going to have to tarp backwards now. Oh, my goodness. These zones are brutal, man. They are not pulling back whatsoever. Everyone is going to have to burn their mats. You're going to see a lot of people have to drop down to ultimate low ground here. Clicks peaked up for high ground. It looks like there is a trio already holding it, though. They, do, they don't want to get greedy and contest it. Clicks does have somebody full boxed right now. Oh, my goodness. This tarp is disgusting. They have to regroup right here if they want to win this. As long as they don't get greedy for kills, they should have this no problem. The zone is going to pull very far across the river here they're gonna drop down a couple layers clicks with the 100 pump tries to take the wall can't seem to get it another trio is putting pressure on him he's gonna have to back up right here otherwise he is gonna get pinched by another squad clicks get oh my goodness 
Clix just gets pumped on his way down. Day also low on HP. Clix gets a one pump on Avery though. Oh my goodness, what a nasty kill right there. Clix notices a trio directly under him. He could get edited down, but he's gonna play it super sneaky now. 13 players still remaining. The full trio is still alive. It looks like Scented and Edgy are gonna have to. Oh wait a minute. Oh dude, I can't even commentate what's going on, bro. This is just so crazy, dude. I, I, guys, I don't know what's happening. I lost control of this game. This is crazy. I think Day is holding that slurp bazooka, making sure that Clix and Miro are staying alive. Clix drops down, gets another one pump, fragging out with three kills right now. Clix and Miro having to group up right here, playing for that last circle. Miro gets the kill. Clix with the 90 pump. They could get this victory out right here. Bro, I am literally going on the edge of my seat, guys. I can't believe what's happening in this game. Clix is holding on to that zone. No mats left to spare. It is a 2v2. Oh my goodness. Clix, oh my gosh, Clix is gonna go down to the store. Miro is gonna have to play the heal off. And they win the game! Let's go! Wow, what a phenomenal third game. All right, guys, game number four is on the way. And something that I just wanna point out on the leaderboard we got Clix and Booga tied for first place right now. We are gonna see a little rivalry, all right? This is the stuff we like to see, man. They're both tied for 238 points, both teams. Let's see which one's gonna be on top, man. I don't know. This is still anybody's game. Two games still remaining in the tournament this is the top 10 leaderboard right now Colazo got dropped down to 10th place after being contested scented and edgy moving up on the leaderboard to ninth stretch in eighth adams in seventh acorn in sixth emzo in fifth when they were actually previously in first that's just what happens when you get contested off a of spawn and die early in the game you're gonna drop down heavy on the leaderboard and without further ado let's start game number four it looks like we already got another off spawn fight with acorn jack and slacks these guys have been contested every single game yet they still manage a top 10 spot on the leaderboard i think it's currently a 1v3 they already got two knocks and yep that is gonna be oh wait never mind it was a 2v2 or a 2v3 there i'm not really too sure i think they already fought off the trio so that's kind of how these guys have been able to get that surge early on in the game it is kind of risky because if they do die then that's gonna put them at a huge disadvantage so you know lucky for them they're able to win every single time no problem for these guys and i really hope they can make a solid comeback on the leaderboard they're currently in sixth maybe we can see them move up to top three i don't know oh okay here we go we got zaxi squad they just found a nice llama with a slurp cannon those slurp cannons guys they have been responsible for every single heal off in this tournament you guys have been seeing so many people use that slurp cannon every single team that wins this has at least one or two in their entire inventory so you gotta have the slurp cannon oh wait a minute we got another fight off a of spawn here with the yemzo that he just revived his trio partner i believe they're gonna try to fight this team off a of spawn anytime i see anybody fight a corny complex it's always ugly all right you never want to land corny apparently i don't know a lot of pros seem to love this spot there is a lot of loot here and it's just very risky to come here sometimes it looks like they're going to disengage the fight they already got three kills that is definitely the right decision to do here ah yes another crystal chest let's see what clicks his team gets here maybe another blue sniper i'm guessing i don't know we're gonna find out and the magic moment yep more blue weapons actually you know what that wasn't that bad blue ars i'll take that you know apparently the way to get good loot is if you don't miss when you open that chest like if you hit the pickaxe on the dot every single time correctly and fast you're gonna get gold weapons i don't know if that's true you guys let me know all right it looks like we're getting closer to end game now let's see how clicks and day's team is doing right now they got all full mats right now they're gonna walk their way into this next circle oh no i think miro just got sniped on rotation yeah this is what you hate to see man every single team is gonna be carrying a sniper i think personally they should make the drop rate a little bit more rare on the snipers just so not every team has one but day gonna try to get some revenge here Whoa, bro he just made that look so easy all right now we got acorns trio over here we got jack sitting in a cone and all metal making sure he's protected of course he's got the sniper in the inventory full shield that's definitely the kind of loot you're gonna expect to get when you walk out of slurpy swamp alive man you're always gonna have so much shield every time they get tagged they're gonna be able to recharge all they need right now is a slurp bazooka and I think they're going to be good to go. All right, now we're going to switch over to Okus. Wait a minute. I think one of his teammates disconnected or something. I think he's just playing with Aviv. And let's see how they're doing. 47 alive, of course. Decent amount of mats. Oh, no. They're definitely going to have to look for a refresh at some point. And now we got Kotal's trio. Okay. All right. Yo, these guys are doing really good. Kotal has seven minis in his inventory. That is actually insane. He's got a lot of mats as well. It looks like they're 
super super close to that next circle all they got to do is just walk their way in maybe save a launch pad they do have two extras but i would personally save those for the moving zones when things get a little congested so we're gonna see how this end game plays out man i'm honestly rooting for every single team playing right now it's gonna be super exciting to see who wins this game after this game is over there's gonna be a ton of leaderboard changes so we're gonna see who's gonna be in first place and then of course we can't forget about zaxi's team they're triple spraying a team they just got a knock Oh my goodness, perfect timing. They're going to get a nice refresh right before this next circle. Oh, this is going to be nice. They are going to be set for moving zones. They just got the storm surge they needed, I believe. All right, so now we're going to go back to Clix's trio. It looks like they have two slurp cannons. Clix is going to be holding one. Miro's going to hold the second one. All they got to do is just keep chug splashing each other, and they're going to be at 200 HP the entire game, no problem. If they make it to the top 10 here, they're going to win the heal up. All they got to do is just stay alive. They have surge. They got four kills on the board. No need to take any more fights here. All right, the zone has officially started moving clicks with the launch pad. Hopefully, they don't get lasered out of midair. Wait, are they going for height? No way they're going for height here. Oh, no way. Height is way too contested. It is not going to be the play. If I was them, I would stay on middle ground right here and just hold those metal tarps. Oh, no. Miro going to get eliminated. Clicks going to get in a box with another player. Oh, this is not looking too good right here. Clicks has to heal up and use that chug splash. He's got to regroup with Day. They need to find each other ASAP if they want to win this game. But now we're going to switch back to Acorn, Jack, and Slacks. Let's see what they do. They pop the launch pad as well. 34 players alive. The zone is pulling so far ahead. There's so many teams on ultimate height right now. You do not want to contest anyone up there because they are guaranteed to be stacked on metal and brick. As long as you stick together with your trio, you should be good to go here. They need to regroup. That is what happens when a lot of teams place launch pads. They don't end up landing on the same layer due to other people placing builds and blocking them. So as long as they just stick together and hold hands, honestly, they're going to be good. All right, the zone is going to pull back here. Let's see what this trio is doing. Okay, they got somebody boxed. They're triple spraying. They got the elimination. More people getting caught behind in zone. A lot of people are running out of mats right now. There is a mount. I believe inside of the zone Jack just doing the best he can with spraying down these this trio has literally the ultimate communication that is how these guys won an FNCS championship last season they are all sticking in the same box with each other and every time you see a trio do this they end up winning the game it's as simple as that as long as you guys can just hold your communication down you're gonna win the game oh Oh, 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 wow. Jack just got himself caught in between a box of two other players. Luckily, his teammates were able to back him up and wipe them out. But now, another team on height is going to spray down and take out Jack and Acorn. Slacks now by himself in a 1v3 situation. Now we're going to switch over to Zaxi. QT claps. His trio was still alive. They get a knock elimination right there. A player is still alive in the game. It looks like they're running out of mats here. They're going to have to look for a refresh ASAP. All three of them are still alive. They have the advantage to win this game. They're going to spray out ultimate height. They're going to drop them down. Do they have a slurp cannon though? That is the big question. If they have a slurp cannon, they're going to be able to win this heal off. It looks like QT claps is going to have to go for the heal off. Claps, 120 of my custom scrims. He knows exactly what to do when it comes down to a heal off. He could easily win this game right here for his trio. There's a flopper on the ground. Zaxi called it out to Bully. Bully's going to try to pick it up. Bully's getting contested and he's going to get eliminated for second place. All right, guys, here we go. Game at number five, the last game of the entire tournament. Let's take one last look at the leaderboard before the final results. So we got Clix, Day, and Miro in first place with 307 points. Avery, Booga, and Nash still in second place with 283. I think they got eliminated off a of spawn. That's why their points didn't move. But we got Okus in third, Acorn in fourth, Cease in fifth, and so on. Yeah, this is a pretty stacked leaderboard. I'm not going to lie. It's still anybody's game for top three, though. Booga could easily take take over Clix's trio. Clix could easily also hold that first place spot. Let's find out who wins this tournament. Here we go. Last game. All right, let's start off with Colazzo's team. Now, these guys have been contested at Corny Complex every single game. You guys saw so many fights happen here, and my man has not complained once for being contested, bro. He's saying to everybody else in this lobby, bring it on. Come contest me. I'm going to wipe your trio and still place top 10. You can't stop me. And that's the kind of attitude I love to see from pro players, man. I love that sheer confidence everyone's just playing super well in this tournament everyone seems to be having a really good time i dude i'm excited to see this end game dog this is the last game you know it's gonna be stacked i think his trio is already fighting too oh no dude not again every single game bro i also gotta give some respect to this man bro i think he's the only controller player in this tournament dog that's
that's actually like insane. My man is repping the controller community out there. Ooh, we got another early game fight from Zaxi this time. Okay, let's see what happens here. Zaxi's got somebody full box. He's trying to get some nice tag shotgun tags over there. There's gonna be some nice early storm surge right here. Oh no, wait a minute. Bully just goes down. Oh gosh, it's now a 2v2 or a 2v3. This is not good, bro. Zaxi and Claps are split up here. Contesting spawn at Pleasant Park. It's not looking very pleasant so far. Zaxi looking for an angle. Oh, wait a minute. He's getting chopped down. Bro, these early game fights literally take forever. Nobody wants to die off a of spawn. If you die off a of spawn, that's going to push you back like 10 spots on the leaderboard. I think Storm is coming in and they're still fighting off a of spawn, bro. It can't get any worse than this, man. This is the worst situation you could possibly put yourself in. Oh, no. QT Clap just went down. It looks like it's going to be a 1v2 here. Zaxi gets a knock though. Hold on. It's not over yet. Zaxi. No way Zaxi gets this 1v3 here, right? Zaxi has four med kits. He could actually clutch this. He has zero mats. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. This is not looking too promising. Bro, Zaxi's popping a med kit in Storm. He's going to try to sneak up on the enemy team while they reboot. All right, it looks like Zaxi's going to get out of here in a taxi, trying to get that reboot at Corny. Best of luck to this trio. Honestly, they're going to have to make a crazy comeback. Oh, here we go. We got another mid-game fight with Kotal this time. He's chilling out on that pepper. My man is just W King walls, boxes, he does not care. Kotal is looking for this trio here. He's trying to sneak up in the gas station. He does see them in that box. All he has to do is just jump up, try to hit a one pump on him. Doesn't seem like he's going to be able to do it. All the builds are just burning because of this gas station. Everything is going to bits and pieces. No way. One of Kotal's teammates just got sniped across the map from 160 meters, bro. That is going to give that other trio an advantage to push them. But wait, Kotal is whiffing his shots there. Oh, no. You hate to see it. All right, let's go back to Zaxi's team. It looks like they got the rebooting corny complex. They now have no loot, no guns, nothing. And they got to get out of the storm, bro. If they come back from this and win, I will be so shocked. All right, so we're going to switch over to Day. And now he immediately just lasers a trio, bro. I completely forgot that Day is also another controller player. Him and Colazzo, some of the greatest controller players in the game right now. Arguably two of the top five best of all time. And uh, man, I don't know what's going to happen here. This is the final game. Everyone is trying to get their last placement points in. Day is kind of split up from his trio here. Not sure what the play is here. Maybe he's trying to get some angles for Surge. They are way above though. So they don't really need to be fighting teams at the moment. They have this nice brick hallway over here for rotation. They're looking pretty good. Now we're going to go over to Colazzo. It seems like these guys are playing ultimate high ground right here. They got the first half and half. They barely have to go into zone. It looks like they're doing pretty good here. Honestly, they get 1200 above Surge. Nothing to worry about here. There is a team actually way above them on height. Okay, we went back to Zaxi's point of view, and I just can't believe these guys made a comeback. They already made it to endgame. They had to reboot the full trio, get a whole new set of loot and mats, and they're still here. That's what I like to see, man. Your game is never over until the whole trio is eliminated. All right, and now the zone is officially moving. We got Iemzo's team contesting for ultimate height here. This is kind of risky, to be honest. We've seen these guys play ultimate height a lot of these games so far, and they've been doing a really good job at it, securing that top 10 spot on the leaderboard but they got a free launch pad but it's gonna get blocked oh no that's not good i think they're all split up right now the entire trio is not together this is very dangerous the emzo trying to launch pad with the short pad he's not gonna be able to connect to his teammates though he's still super far away he is just walking his way in not even getting tagged once surprisingly wow that was honestly the most impressive rotation i've ever seen and now we're gonna go back to clicks and day and miro trying to laser people on rotation they made it into the next zone. They have the zone advantage for this next circle. Clicks places the short pad a little bit way too early, but it's okay. He's still going to get ahead of the zone. He's going to secure that mid layer tarp. Let's see what's going to happen here. This is the final game. Final few circles right here. Who is going to be the champion for the trio tournament? Clicks, he's a full trio. He's going to get cut off a little bit. He's going to be able to take a little bit of damage. Day is going to get eliminated. Oh no. And Clicks is going to get eliminated as well from above. It looks like the team that eliminated Clicks was from Emzo's team, I want to say. I'm not too sure here. Let's see what happened. And now we're going to switch over to Okus's team. 26 players still remaining. Only two of them alive. Okus gets a nice one pump on another player that was not even looking at the right direction. Oh, no. Okus and Magnolia doing a really good job right here. A duo against all trios right here. Tarping ahead of the zone. 
21 players alive and closed moving. Bro, this is so stacked. Oh my gosh. We're gonna switch over to Yemzo's team. They wiped out clicks. They have 10 kills right now. Let's see what these boys got here, man. These guys have been doing such a good job. Definitely the most underrated trio in this tournament, I would have to say so. I mean, 46 kills in open qualifiers. You don't see that every single day. 17 alive, five kills on the board for Yemzo. Let's see how many kills they can get here. They both got that slurp bazooka, man. They're gonna drop a team down, trying to get that elimination, slowing down every other trio in the game. They're not gonna be able to get that kill, however. They are going to tarp into the next zone. There is a team contesting on ultimate high ground. Yemzo says he's gonna go for height. Is it gonna work out? It is. He's going up. He takes high ground. Holy moly, bro. He's telling his teammates, come up here, guys. I got high ground. Don't be scared. He's good. Him and Nut doing a really good job of holding ultimate height. Emzo, though, now with only zero builds. He's going to have to drop down and get a refresh. Is he going to be able to find one? And he's not. He's going to get third place by DT Rise. Let's see who wins this here. Rise, threats. All right, I think we're spectating Avery now. Let's see if these guys win here. Avery and Booga. This is Booga's trio right here. Are they going to win this? Wait a minute. They're currently in second and they just won. I think that was Avery, Nosh, and Booga. Hold on a minute. I don't know who won this. Did Clix's team win or Booga's? And there it is, guys. Avery, Booga, and Nosh are gonna snag that first place spot from Clix Day and Miro for that $450 grand prize. Congratulations. That was actually the most insane Trios Cup tournament we've ever had. Here is the full top 10 leaderboard. Booga in first place, Clix in second. Emzo in third, Ocus in fourth, Cease in fifth, Acorn in sixth, Rise Jamper seventh, Kalazo in eighth, Asana in ninth, and Scented in tenth. What an amazing tournament. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have been enjoying these Fortnite tournament cups, please guys drop a like on this video. It means so, so much to me. The more views these get, the more I want to host them for you guys. I really appreciate all the support. Thank you guys so, so much. And congratulations to Booga, Avery, and Dash once again for getting that first place spot. And if it's your first time watching, by the way, please be sure to subscribe. I'm going to try to do as many of these tournaments as I possibly can for you guys. And if you want to help support the funding for these tournaments, I fund all these with my own money out of my own pocket. So it really mean the world to me if you guys could use code form. I love you guys. Thank you for watching the entire video. I'll see you tomorrow. Das Vidanya.